In the music business, it can be difficult at times for successful veteran performers to come together on a project, but Lori Morgan and Pam Tillis have rather enjoyed the whole process with their grits and glamour shows. We had a chance to catch up with Lori and Pam at the Country Music Association to hear what the album Dos Divas and the Grits and Glamour shows are all about. I used to do the Ralph Emery show every day of the week, and Pam had done it some as well, and um, we just kind of passed uh, a little bit in the in the night, and we did a show together in the 90s with Carlene Carter, the Craft Tour, and we we knew each other, and I guess respected each other's talent. But that was the height of both of our careers, and we just kind of we just really didn't know each other at all. We were under a lot of pressure. When we finished our show together, our buses went, one bus went that way, one yeah. bus went the other way, and we just didn't really get time to connect. And since we condensed everything down um, to one bus, and uh, I see how she goes to bed, and she sees how I We go. know, way Now, see, I have so much on Lori <laughs> that she is forever beholden to me. Uh-huh, and ditto. Yeah, 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 all right. And uh, I know what you did last well, night. That's the name of the single. Girl, you ought to it. We share very similar roots. Our dads knew each other. They've actually worked together. Uh, we've been, uh, we grew up around the Grand Ole Opry. We both love traditional country music and at the same time understand that country music can't stay stuck in the past. But we just, we, sh we really love a lot of the same kinds of music and that's, that's been a big part of it. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry, I ain't telling no what you did, I was there when you did it. No matter what you do, girl, you're never gonna live it down. We're so proud of the record. We did four, four solos a piece, mm -hmm. and then six duets. Mm -hmm. I'm a coughing in the morning. I break down without warning. I'm a best friend and a mother to the world. Pam and I sign autographs every night after the show, and that's where we get a lot of our stupid or crazy or great ideas that we uh, uh, either it's a songwriting thing or just Things an idea. Things to talk about on stage. And we, between people coming up and getting autographs, we, uh, we start talking about different things. Well, all these fans kept coming up going, when are y'all going to do a duet album together? You know, when, when, are we, when can we expect a duet album? And I'm like, yeah, Pam, when can we expect this? Well, <laughs> when are we going to do that? So <laughs> we, we forgot. We, yeah. yeah, we just, well, I think we waited to see um, if, the, gonna work. Yeah. You know, if the tour was going to mm -hmm. do great or, mm -hmm. you know, and it did. It, it really, uh, the fans really liked it. And uh, they're the ones who asked for the album and, mm -hmm. and we did it. What was really cool about waiting to do it, and I'd like to say we meant to do that, but it was kind of accidental, is, um, the record that we ended up making together after being on tour and being on the road and hours talking and you know really getting to know each other a lot better uh, that's a very different album that we than we would have made if we'd done it before we started working together right uh, so this album that we've made it, it's really very it's much us. it's us it's a musical dialogue it's a it's a friendship on right there in the grooves, and it's really cool. It's a very personal record, it takes some risk. Uh, there's, a, there's a sense of humor running through it. Uh, there's a, you gotta have a sense of humor. Yeah, to survive. And, and we do. Oh, I mean, Lord. I didn't even know she had a, the great sense of humor. She, I should have known because of, she's Mel's daughter, but you know, sometimes it <laughs> skips a generation. <laughs> you don't know. Those divas that drove them crazy. One of the neat things of having two artists from the same era is it's kind of nostalgic, especially for fans that love that period of country music. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people who still really love early 90s country music. Yeah, they sure do. Yeah, they're, they're hungry for, you know, country that music. That style. That style, yeah. That girl, you ought to know you got nothing on me. I know what you did last night. I hope everybody will check out the new record. It is really fun, and come see us on the road, because it is a fun show. And the title of the album is Dos Divas. And the title of the tour is Grits and Glamour. 
Lori and Pam have quite a few performances together this fall, in addition to their solo shows. Check out gritsandglamour.com to keep up. It's time for another quick little break, but we've got lots more on the way. We've got a hot new artist coming up next, right here on Inside Music Row. Don't go away. Hey everybody, don't go anywhere. I'm coming up next, right here on Inside Music Row.